I am Antonio. Uh, I'm a SRE uh, manager uh, here in Golfer in Singapore. So uh, I want to talk to you today about how to use Cloudflare to uh, improve the performance of your web assets. This talk is going to be a little bit high level and we're going to go through uh, all the components on the Cloudflare stack that it can help you to achieve that. I believe that on the last meetup, uh, my colleague Wu was going through some specific part of the, our stack, was explaining a specific task, uh, sorry, a specific uh, part. So again, this is gonna be a high level talk. Uh, I'm gonna go through all the components later. We can go deeper into, uh, into each component if you, if you guys you always like. All right, so I started. Um, Introducing Gopher, we were found 2010. Uh, we have more than 700 uh, employees and counting. We have eight offices. And also, by the way, we are also hiring. Yeah? We are hiring SREs and, uh, and at all different roles. You can check our career website. So this is not the topic of the talk. So we're going to go through uh, the, the real challenge that we have here, which is uh, um, the high expectations uh, for your website API. And um, um, yeah. So first off, our, starting with our infrastructure. So we have uh, more than 150 data centers uh, around the world, including growing. We are uh, provisioning more and more data centers in Southwest, Southwest uh, Asia, e Europe, America, Africa. So uh, we're going to reach uh, the barrier of 200 uh, pretty soon. We handle more uh, of the 10% of the internet HTTP request. And uh, um, we has been in some benchmarks that we speed up uh, each request by 200%. I'll explain how. So what are the factors that make the performance critical? Um, the colleagues from uh, Dick Secure already mentioned some, but uh, I'm gonna go fast over here. So, customer expectations are increasing. So we have more and more uh, customers that are dedicated to gaming and uh, other industries that this needs uh, higher performance for good uh, user experience. The um, number of mobile uh, usage has increased a lot as. Uh, the phones or mobile devices are more um, are more uh, basically cheaper, so people can have, have access to more and more devices. And of course, the number of users connected to the internet is growing. So the common challenges that we are facing, internet is facing, the websites and the APIs is, of course, a slow internet and applications. Uh, slow mobile sites and apps. Uh, mobile clients are introducing more and more components, uh, being more and more complex. So it, at the end, it has a, a, an, an impact on, on the user experience and usability. So what exactly we are talking when we say that um, um, mobile application is slow, why, why this happen? So it can happen for for few number of reasons. One is uh, the number of round trips that you have to to establish a connection. Also, the the number of requests you are you are sending through APIs or or any any uh, other source. Also, the network throughput, the amount of data per second, and also the size of the payload. Um, this is uh, uh, this is sometimes uh, very hard since uh, not every type of request is the same, obviously. Uh, also, the distance from the client from the origin. This is one of uh, most of the pains since uh, um, users usually are distributed around the world. We think of the world as a, as a um, um, we think of the world as a, as a one single, as a one single, um, uh, how to say that, how to explain that. So we have, User centralized. We don't have user centralized anymore. So um, all the, the doesn't matter where the clients are. So it usually uh, uh, reflects on uh, the, the the time on number one. So 
a slow pages application API. So business, uh, customers and users, as I said, uh, globally distribute. Um, the pages are adding more and more multi multimedia, more videos, more images, more more uh, music. So it's obviously um, um, more heavy. And um, this requires not only more, more, as I say here, more interactivity and personalization, uh, going to more trips back and forth, but uh, all the uh, all the scenarios maybe here for the mobile for the mobile um, mobile devices have uh, limited compute and memory so this is a, an additional challenge making the, the apps going slow also mobile mobile device uh, connecting to the radio stations this is uh, um, uh, have a very big impact on on uh, um, latency uh, mobile apps and APIs uh, used to increase the calls of an origin. So since uh, the APIs on 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 some specific applications like just say gaming, gambling, and so on are quite demanding. So um, business impact, of course, the great brand and uh, the reducing the um, uh, brand recognition, and also lower revenue and and uh, higher operational operational cost. This is more or less what it seems to happen on the on the business side. I don't want to go very much into into these these numbers. So going a little bit more into into the stack, which is I think more interesting for for this meetup. So how Cloudflare accelerates your web performance? Uh, how the the stack looks like? So we as we said. We have a global network. We have more than 150 um, um, data centers around the world, and we use a technology called Anycast. Have you heard about Anycast? Someone? Yet not. Only two persons? Three? Four? All right, cool. So Anycast is a technology that allows to announce same, the, the same IPs all around the world. So. If I have a, um, if I send a HTTP request on a server to um, is a HTTP request from a server in Spain and the origin is in New Zealand, uh, you will get back an uh, Spanish uh, sorry you will get root to a Spanish uh, point of presence and it will uh, get the request will get root on our internal network into uh, um, uh, until it reaches the origin in New Zealand. How this happen? This happened because uh, same routers can uh, advertise the IP, same IPs in, in on all our pops around the world. So you basically traveling to the nearest pop when you send a request. That's what Anycast does. So once you get into uh, into uh, our network, before of course we recently launched our new uh, DNS service, 1.1.1.1. And I, I encourage everyone to use it. It's free. We don't. It's private. We don't keep the uh, the source. It will be anonymous, so we don't we don't keep this data. And um, we also well, this is for uh, ten years later. We have a strong presence in China, but uh, maybe for the case it's not that relevant. So our DNS is performing. Uh, as we test, our is performing better than the, the Google's 8888. So the latency is, is lower. So with these two factors, you already get a consi uh, considerable uh, uh, improvement in the performance. Then, uh, so we support, of course, when when the request go in, we support, of course, uh, all the web standards, uh, TLS 1.3. You know, with the with the advantages of TLS 1.3, someone. So the advantages of TLS 1.3? No? No advantages? Yeah? Yeah? What's the advantage? Less round trips. Yes, less round trips, correct. So it has less, less round trips, so you are getting performance layer by layer. And then uh, you, we, we recently, well, a few months ago, we launched Workers. Workers is a JavaScript, which is embedded on the edge. You can set your own JavaScript on uh, our edge, and it will be served from that. So um, then, of course, once the request gets into our edge, our request can get cache. 
right? Well, with cache, if it's not cache, it will do uh, the whole trip to the origin inside our network, right? So then after that, uh, we have the web content optimization, which uh, we faster delivery, reducing the payload of a series of images. So we have an algorithm that reduces the size of the of the images, and and uh, at the end you get a gain on 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 reducing the, the payload or reducing the data you are sending over. Uh, then. Um, we have uh, uh, the load balancing, so you have you can configure different origins for your web servers for your sorry for your origin. So um, the load we are constantly testing the latency of, of our uh, of your origin, so we can send a request to the origin which is responding faster. And after that, uh, we have Argo, which accelerates uh, uh, the network through the connection. So Argo will find the, the, the most fastest route to the, to the origin. I believe that uh, my uh, colleague Gu went into, into details with Argo. So um, then uh, finally, we have uh, Railgun, who accelerates the content compressing the, the origin payloads. So uh, all, with all this stack, is how we optimize the uh, the deliver of the of the content. Do you have any questions at this point? No, or we'll shall we leave the questions by the end? Okay, that's fine. Okay, um, I'm gonna give go fast since uh, I think we already talked about about Argo. So uh, Argo, what basically does is sending the request trying to avoid uh, uh, congestions on the network. So we have several points of presence. So I will calculate the latency among all the, the, uh, the, the hops that we have ahead. So it is able to figure out in a smart way where it can get faster to the, to the origin. So we're going to talk about now about the stack uh, with the specific for, for mobile. So again, of course, we have um, the uh, Anycast uh, network, the route, you, you, get hit, you get a hit on the closest spot. Then you uh, uh, got like, uh, we have recently uh, uh, acquired Neubo, a, a company that developed a mobile SDK. So we are able to measure the performance and impacting, uh, getting metrics of, uh, for specific for, for network devices. Then uh, we have, uh, um, again, the global network, Anycast. We also have a network in China, uh, the DNS, as we said before, uh, web standard workers. And probably the highlight here for, uh, for uh, mobile is Ampersand, which uh, use AMP, anybody have heard about AMP before? No? Yes, yes, okay, all right, cool. And also, uh, um, uh, mobile content optimization, which deliver fast images targeting the, mo the mobile clients. So it's specific for, for mobile. And then at the end, we can add to the stack, of course, load balancing, Argo, and Railgun. So, quick summary. So, Cloudflare is uh, easy to scale. Um, is uh, you are few clicks away to improve your web performance. Uh, you can add more origins. You can personalize absolutely uh, all the settings uh, that that you want. You are free to uh, to on and off press the button, the trigger on and off, disable Cloudflare. And of course, maybe for another talk, we we'll focus more about security. We, protect, uh, we pro, uh, provide solutions for DDoS attacks, uh, all the off of all kinds, le level seven, level four, yeah, all uh, slow loaders, any, any DDoS attack that you, you can imagine. So, uh, yeah, so here are all the components that make your, can make your web Assets faster, 
And yeah, this is a few numbers that, again, we serve HTTP, 10% of all the HTTP requests, and uh, we serve around 10% of all the next queries. So this is actually very, very, um, sorry to say, this is kind of impressive. Anyway, thank you. Uh, you have any questions you want to ask? No questions? Yes? So, web? Web RTC. Web RTC. What do you mean by web, web RTC? Uh, web RTC is, our, it's used for video, but for peer-to-peer. Yeah. Google, so, uh, as far as I know, we uh, are offering a service for, for streaming, uh, right, James? I think, but it's, I'm not actually aware of, uh, of uh, how is this uh, 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 working so far? Yeah, so, yeah, I've not heard of WebRTC. I'm sorry, I work for WebRTC. I've not heard of WebRTC. <laughs> I mean, we, we don't actually host anything for a reverse proxy architecture, so we're a man in the middle, so I suspect not. I was just curious, it's actually very low bandwidth. I'll, I'll definitely look it up though. Yeah, okay. Any other question? Yes? Uh, allow what? Sorry again? Yeah, the Cloudflare workers has nothing to do with the, with the uh, resolver. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, so the, how they work, the, 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 the question is how the workers work. So the workers are uh, uh, a service that was launched like two or three months ago and you can create your JavaScript code and put it on, on, on the edge and uh, you can use the, the UI or, or the API so you can push your JavaScript code on the edge so every time that you hit uh, the website using Cloudflare this, this content, this JavaScript uh, will be served. Uh, Personally, I use it, uh, we would use it, a uh, colleague of, of mine, an SRE, uh, use it for um, set uh, measure the latency that your browser was uh, hitting the, uh, um, the, the, the server. So we basically we created a JS that it was returning the time that it was was connecting uh, the, the time of the TCP, not the TCP connection because I think JavaScript doesn't not allow you to to go through to that level, but the the, the time of the HTTP uh, request. I got like some nice uh, measurements on on depending which which uh, pop it was hitting, right? So it was quite interesting. This is one one of the applications, and yeah, you can set any any uh, GS code you want. Oh, I didn't prepare, but definitely for next time, I, we can, I think, write this down and, and prepare a demo, for sure. Yeah, yeah, cool. We can talk about that later, yeah? Sure. Um, anyone else? More questions? Do they run in the browser, the workers? Do they, do they run in the browser? Do you inject them into the user's yeah. browser? It will, it will basically, it will request, so, so the JavaScript code is on the edge, so it will be served from the edge. So you will start executing the browser, yeah? So it executes on our hardware. So if you think about it, yes. right. I'm, I'm not a developer, right? I'm a network engineer, but historically there's two places to run JavaScript in the browser or on the server itself. We're now giving you a third place to run JavaScript. So the, for, for me, the immediate use case is anything that you did on the server side. So perhaps you know, checking the browser's language now that can now operate in our part much closer to the user. So if you want to deliver different concepts to the user based on the language, for example, you can do that very close to the user and use the latest, you know, geo-based topic as well. But I think workers is its, its infancy and I think our customers are going to teach us all the use cases. So we look, I mean just last week we launched a, a workers what we call it workers recipe experience where yeah. the upload the code this is what we've done with workers. So yeah, it's fully functioning JavaScript, so I think the yeah, exactly. So, so it's yeah, exactly. So you can uh, upload your own JavaScript code, so it can be, so it can be anything, right? Yeah. 
yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we protect about that, by the way. So, anyway, um, no more questions? No? All right. So, thank you. That's it. Uh, thank you.